praise the name of the Lord. We want to thank God who has given us another morning that we can share the word again today in Jesus' name. I want to remind you my name is uh, Bishop Peter Kariru Chege of the Four Gospel Churches of Kenya, Ruai, and I am the head of uh, Kasarani District. And the, some people would say the lead bishop of Kasarani District. And I want to thank God who has given us an opportunity again so that we may continue with this program. And before we can start, let me introduce my topic today is the characteristics of faithness. We understand when we started <coughs> is that uh, we started from uh, building a foundation of faith and then we started we came the second day with talking about the characteristic of faith faithful people and we talked about one value which is commitment praise the name of the lord we also found that the second value of uh, the characteristics of faithfulness or faithful people is that they have love. They are men and women who can love God. The Bible says, love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And also, the word of God talking about this value of love. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten child. Therefore, there are, you can see the dynamics of love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. It is like you are reciprocating to God who loved you. And the Bible says that he loved the world that whosoever, and he gave his only begotten son. The command of our Lord Jesus Christ to one another, he says, love one another. The royal law of love, the Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And therefore, it is important to understand that the value of love is key. It is a character. A character that needs to be deposited in a Christian life. After you have received Jesus Christ, the evidence that you love Jesus Christ is to love other people. Therefore, let's see what is entailed in love the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. 1 Corinthians chapter number 13, we can read together. If you have your Bible there, this very wonderful morning, in Jesus' name. 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. And verse 4 says, love is patient. Like where... Love is mentioned, you put your name. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love, it does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Then verse 6 says, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love is powerful in all its dimension. When love is employed, in our life, you will have joy 
that does not cease regardless of the situation regardless of what is coming your way whether positive or negative you loving god you have the value of love and you are faithful to god you will continue doing the will of god because the bible says that love does not keep records of evil many people today are undergoing mental disorder because they have not employed love in their life many people are having problems in the family level because love is not their portion i want to encourage somebody for anyone who know that jesus christ is the lord and savior you have to employ love in all situation do you understand something jesus christ died not for the good people but he died for the sinners in fact the bible says that we were enemies we were enemies with god but god himself through his generosity gave us his only begotten child jesus christ and he died on the cross because of our sins in the book of romans the bible says that god have demonstrated has demonstrated his love to us though we were sinners jesus died for us love derives in truth it does not derive in evil love teaches us a level of higher commitment love teaches us a level of higher commitment we understood even when we were talking yesterday in the morning we talked about a commitment of love the commitment the vow of commitment but love itself teaches us teach us a higher level of commitment as commit commitment love is not dependent on feeling rather consist and encourage decisions to extend oneself for a willing being of another person love always consist consist a higher level of commitment it does not operate in feeling there are people who operate in feeling they can feel to love you they can feel not to love you they can feel to love god they can also feel not to love god they can love god because god is doing something but when god is not doing anything they think he is not doing anything but he is still doing something hello praise the name of the lord because when he is giving you breath he is still doing something when he is giving you food he is still doing something but there are those great things that we would like to think that he is doing it because he is not giving you a car he is not giving you a land you think he is not worth loved and you think that he is not loving you i am telling you today in the name of jesus even when you think god is not doing anything he is still doing something and therefore you need to love god always in the name of jesus so love does not consist of feelings the commitment then produces good feeling not the other way round what god the commitment of love then brings good feeling because god is doing something even when you think he is not doing anything he is still doing th- something therefore the commitment of love to god brings another feeling in jesus name the attributes of love that we have already uh, read in the book of first corinthians chapter number 13 verse 4 to 7 attribute of love are 
patience, generosity, humility, courtesy, restraint, joy, and consistency. I will repeat those attributes of love. One is patience, generosity, humility, courtesy, restraint, joy, and consistency. Let me read Ephesians chapter number 4. Uh, and we see something. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 4, in verses 32, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. It is important to understand that love always have a room. It has a room of forgiveness. It has a room, a room what we are saying, a room of accommodation. You are accommodated in love. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The value of love is very key in the life of the saints. You understand we are a product, a product of love. God gave us this grace of love through his begotten son. And in us, he has put a ministry. And that ministry of love is well known as the ministry of reconciliation. Whenever we live, God expects us to show love. Show love to those people who are conflicting and bring them together. To show love to those people who are in need and become generous. In fact, the Bible says somewhere that I came to you when I was hungry, but you didn't give me food. And then they will ask, when Lord did you come? And we did not give you food. And then he will say, when you did not do to someone some who was hungry, it is me that you did not do it to me. So love gives us a scope, a wider scope of even ministering to other people. When we have that uh, a life of showing courtesy, of showing mercy, and a consistent life of love without hatred. They say, if you are poor, you will lose friends. If you are poor, you will lose friends. If you are rich, you gain more friends. What does that mean? If you are poor in love, your friends will go away. If you live a life of bitterness, hatred, you will continue losing friends. But if you live a life of love, you gain more friends. Jesus Christ died on the cross and his death has caused many to be saved. It is important for you and I to employ love is a character of those people who are faithful. May the Lord bless you so much as we continue tomorrow. I want us to pray together right now for those who would like to receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And let me say something to you who have listened to this program this morning. Probably you have somebody and you have hatred with that person. I plead with you to forgive that person and you will be free from that captivity of bitterness. God loves a cheerful giver. Give forgiveness to that person and you will be blessed. 
Let's pray together in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. I am a sinner. I pray that you come to my heart. Forgive me my sins and save me. In the name of Jesus. You who are there, who is there, and your heart has hatred, please pray this prayer together with me. In the name of Jesus. Father, you know my heart. I'm full of bitterness because of all those things that I've carried, because of brothers and sisters, friends. I pray to get today in Jesus' name that you heal my heart. I forgive them in the name of Jesus. Thank you. You are delivered from today in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessings of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I declare the blessings of the Lord upon these people who are hearing, upon that brother, that sister, that family man that have be, been having bitterness. We declare release in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare the power of God that destroys of the works of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the grace of forgiveness in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. May the Lord bless you so, so much. You are healed.